arrived. It's our little animal with two baskets. Yep, they ha each animal has two little basket planters on either side and they just have the cutest faces and the cutest details. $29.84, that price goes up at the end of the day. More of these have just arrived. This will be presented later, so keep that in mind. We have those three easy pays that get this home to you for $9.95, M64878. And I'm excited to show you your options because they're so cute. We've well, seen your little, your little bear right there, but they all have unique details all have sweet faces and I'm going to start with our little dog. Just the eyes and that little tongue. He's so <laughs> cute. I'm gonna show you all the way around because he's got happy. His tail's even happy. You can see that. Really, really sweet. And I do want to point out something that Nancy taught me um, <clears throat> that these are two planters but actually you it's open all the way through the bottom here. So right. just, you just keep yeah. that in mind. Then moving on to our bear. And Nancy, I said it before, he really looks like he's up to something. Not up to something I bad, know. but he's thinking about something. Yeah, I agree. We did agree with that last time. Uh, yeah, so there there <laughs> is some, when I see honey. him again too, I'm like, he's thinking, I agree, honey. <laughs> and then this guy makes me so, a well, guy or gal, this frog Perfect. makes me so happy with the face, with the eyes, with the little lotus flowers here on the side. The frog is just adorable. So cute. I know. Really, really cute. They, they just so, instantly you know, make you smile. They do, they do. And you know, when we're getting all of our beautiful plants to plant out in our garden, I love being able to do container gardening. And why use just a terracotta pot or a plain white pot or just a plain pot and not have something that's so adorable that it really showcases your plants. And so Plow and Hearth is really great about giving us pieces. They're going to add that personality to your container gardening because not everybody has a yard to be able to decorate. They maybe have a patio or a small deck. So you want to give as much, you know, love and attention to your plants and have something really show off. So here is our dog. And this is made out of a cement blend. So you're going to see that there's you know, it's not super, super smooth. There's a little roughness to it. That's intentional because it's got that really cool uh, texture to it. And I'm just gonna take out my plants and all I did you was use some faux plants and show you the inside. And that's where you're going to be planting. If you plant directly in there, my recommendation is put some pebbles in the bottom to hmm. create drainage because there are no drainage holes in here. But as you mentioned, it goes all the way through. So if you want to plant directly in here, fill it with pebbles first, then put your soil in, then go ahead and drop your plants in. Super cute if you wanted to do like a little herb garden in this. Oh, that's a cute idea. Geraniums or maybe I have um, succulents in my little frog would be really darling. But if you want to use it inside, just get some little silk plants and you can drop those in. Or you could actually put real plants. Just drop them right inside each one of those containers. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, just yeah. for a sense of measurements here, all of them I'm going to give approximate, but all about 14 inches tall by 12 inches by 8 inches deep. So they'll all be mm -hmm. about that size. So I, I always say I need to know the measurements because I have a place where I think I want to put it. Will it fit? So, so there you go. Hope that helps. Price goes up at the end of the day. Fraud is getting very, very limited. 350 remain in our frog and more have just arrived here. M64878 on these. Also, these will be presented later. So keep that in mind as you're making your choice, but don't think too long about our frog friend here because again, he or she is getting very, very limited. I love how you said, Nancy, that you know, not everyone has a yard or even a big patio mm -hmm. or somewhere. So, so it's a special thing to do. And I, and I, I've, I can, you know, kind of forgot about it because it's been such a long time, but I lived in New York City for a very, very long time. And before I ever lived anywhere where there was even a communal outdoor space, well, my fire escape was my quote unquote patio. So I would actually look for creative ways to garden on my fire escape. So something like that. this in the tiniest, tiniest little patch, you know, that was my quote unquote outdoor mm -hmm. space in New York City, always had some sort of style or some sort of unexpected planting happening. And this just reminds me of, of a way to be so creative in a very, very small space, if you want to, or even if you have to. 
Yeah, exactly. You know, that is such a great point because when you have a planter that is really unique, you're actually combining statuary along with the planter. And mm -hmm. when you go to public gardens, you know, we're fortunate that we live near a place called Longwood Garden. Oh, and beautiful. you go through formal gardens, public gardens, and there's always statuary. There's always something that's mixed in mm -hmm. with your, your plants and your flowers and your trees because that creates interest. So um, it's really fun that Plow and Hearth created this way to have your natural greenery or plants or flowers, but created statuary along with it. And in, you know, three very favorite icons. Of course, we have the dog that looks like a little golden retriever or maybe a uh, yellow lab. But over my shoulder, you're going to see the bear. I love the bear. He's got the trunk, you know, so you can plant right in those trunks or my frog over here by my fence and I put succulents in there. So you're getting kind of a combination. You're getting the statuary and the planter that you can plant right in if you'd like, and you can use it inside. I have it here yeah. with my just little silk flowers with my darling little bear there. So if someone doesn't have that little patch, doesn't even have the fire escape or somewhere that's small that they can plant something, you can still use it inside. But if you do have somewhere small or you have a patio that you really want to highlight some mm -hmm. plants, you've got that darling planter that is safe in all kinds of weather because this is a cement blend. Right. So it is something that's going to be very, very durable and is going to add such personality to your garden. I just wanted to show you the cute little bear tail on the back <laughs> and all, all the details here. But also, I love your idea, Nancy, about the herb garden idea because that's even something that you could do on the inside. Like that's even something if you have a lot of, you know, if you have sunlight on a table on the inside and maybe you don't have anywhere outside, but you still want that fresh herb, uh, you know, both just look and fragrance and also uh, uh, able to use them for cooking in your kitchen mm -hmm. at the ready. That would also be such a great idea because it is something you can do inside. Yeah, you sure can. If you have a big bay window and you're getting sunlight, that would be a great place to put it. You yeah. know, you could have it something that you see that's really cute inside, but you're able to actually make it functional. Or feel free to put silk plants in when you're having a little gathering. Maybe it's where you put your little utensils and this is a centerpiece. You know, put the forks and knives on one side and spoons on another. That's cute. You know, you could really make it just something that is fun. It's certainly designed to be a planter. But I like to think of other ways. Maybe someone really likes it and they're like, hmm, how else could I use that? You know, there are lots of different ways to be able to enjoy this. But the craftsmanship, it's clown hearth. So you know you're getting really great quality. You're getting something that they designed. So it's not something you're going to find at your typical garden store, which is why I love clown hearth so much. I'm always finding unique and warm uh, enduring things that are going to help add that special touch to my garden. And I also love it can be indoor or outdoor or both. Mm -hmm. 400 orders already placed. Our frog very, very popular because he is, he or she is just so cute. Uh, 250 <laughs> remaining right here. Adorable in that frog. Then our, our buddy bear, about 900 remain in our bear. And then our sweet, dog right here and just a few more than that left more have just arrived but that frog is getting very limited 29.84 on our clearance price that price goes up at the end of the day m64878 still to come oh our three p 